Hello, hello, hello. Good to see you. You get fairy dust, I get fairy dust, little friend gets fairy dust, and it's time for a question for Ask an Advanced Bitch. And the first question I got was, hey Elizabeth, um, I've been told I'm a gaslighter. How do I stop being a gaslighter? And I find it interesting. I don't think that a lot of gaslighters uh, respond well to the shit that I put out online that they don't, they wouldn't resonate with me. Um, and so that might be your first clue that you're being hoodwinked. So people, I, I, I think of this, like I, I, I check in with myself three, like on three levels when somebody gives me some, um, some says something to me that I don't want to hear. Number one, are you shitty? If you're shitty, then I don't need to pay attention to what you say. I want to pay attention to the people who have character, who are kind, who are loving, who demonstrate all the qualities I wish I would have had in myself. Like I wish I, or that I do have in myself. Like if you are, you know, leading a healthy life and not wrapped up in chaos and drama, um, I might pay attention. But if you are that, and if you think I should be running my life in a different way or behaving in a different way, but you behave in a way that I deem shitty or cuckoo or toxic or dysfunctional, then I am free from not having to take that advice from you. It, um, and, and, and so that's the first level of like, who's, who's saying this? Who's saying this? Like, let's just take a look. Let's just examine Okay, is the person who uh, co constantly gets fired, is that person the one giving you career advice? Like, is the person who has had, you know, shitty relationships and, you know, um, whatever, is that the person giving you the advice? Is the person an active alcoholic, drug addict, or food addict, or any addict? and um, you know, full-blown codependency enabler. Yeah, I don't need to take that advice. <laughs> I don't need, so that's the first level. Like, who's giving me the input? And then the other one is, um, I'm gonna check myself. Let me check myself. Am I, like, did, is what I just said gaslighty, you know? Um, is, is what I just, you know, am, am I, coming on too strong? Am I being mean? Am I being selfish? Whatever it is. Like I, I'll, I'll investigate, but again, I don't even do the second step until I judge that the person who's saying this shit about me is in a good place, isn't an active addict, da, 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 da. is it shitty? Um, and then the third is like, well, okay, so I'm getting this feedback from this person. They're saying I'm a gaslighter or I'm abusive. And it is to, am I getting that in all areas of my life? Because the thing about a psyche, it's gonna do what it does. Wherever we go, there we are. So if I'm shitty, I'm gonna be shitty at work. If I'm shitty, I'm gonna be shitty, um, you know, hanging out with my friends. If I'm shitty, I'm gonna be shitty. Like it just spills out, it won't be able to, I mean, I can hide it for a little while and try to fool you for a little bit, but if, I, if I'm if i icky or shitty or dysfunctional, like it will show up because I cannot not be me. And so if I'm just getting this piece of information from this one person, but I'm not getting it at work and I'm not getting it at, um, you know, whatever, the other places I hang out, um, which is few and far between, but anyway, that's beside the point. Um, but you know, like if I'm not getting that at book club, if I'm not getting that at this this thing, if I'm not getting that, at, you know, from from the relationships I'm in, am I, am I getting that from you know the, the my trainer that I work with? Am I getting it from my therapist? Am I getting it from my meetings or my sponsor or this or that? If I'm getting it from other places, then. Um, I'm going to be more attentive to that. It's like, Oh, I don't, that's spilling out. I don't, I, you know? And so like for me, it's uh, at this point in my personal growth, it is more like, Hey, you're irritable. I'm not irritable. And then you go to work. It's like, you seem a little irritable. Are you okay? It's like, Oh shit, I might be irritable. Oh my God. Let me take a look at that. But that's, you know, so, so, so that's that. And then finally, very smart people, very, you know, people, 
people who have high degrees, therapists who have power, uh, doctors, um, you know, any kind of authority. Like the thing is, is they get to you, if they are a gaslighter, they have better weapons. They have better psychological weapons and they will use those against you. And so, you know, to, it, it really takes a piece of trust and understanding in yourself that just because someone has um, an accolade or a credential or um, a fucking degree or whatever it is that that they're not actually being just as toxic as somebody who isn't any of those things who's like you know a walking talking red flag you'd be like oh okay yeah if they say I'm glass gaslighting the walking talking red flag I'm probably not gaslighting I'm probably not being shitty um, but when it's somebody that we respect or somebody that we kind of admire or a teacher or a prof professor, um, I've had a professor or two say shit to me and I believed it and it wasn't right. <laughs> it wasn't right. Um, I found out in the end that it wasn't correct. You know, I did have somebody in grad school say that I would have to stop stuttering and stop you know, pausing and doing all this shit. And I was like, oh God, oh God, I'm gonna, I shouldn't be a therapist because of the stupid way I talk <laughs> and the way that I, you know, might go on a tangent or some shit and I'm not gonna be a good therapist because of that. But it turns out people love me for that, you know, because it's me, it's who I am. It's the way that I fucking talk. If it doesn't work for them, they won't ever come see me because by the time they get in my office, they have already talked on, to me on the phone and I've already, you know, probably gone on a tangent or two. <laughs> and they think that the information or rapport that they're getting from me is worth whatever fucking stuttering or me forgetting my train of thought in the middle of a session. Like they're fine with that, <laughs> you know? Um, so, that wasn't true, but I believed him and it hurt me for a really long time. And I doubted myself for a really, really long time. Fuck that. Nobody told me that I would be shitty on social media. Like who would want to watch somebody who doesn't edit their videos? Like who would want to like somebody who uses like, ba 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 that kind of shit. Um, <laughs> I get often told that I have crazy hand movements, which is true. Oh shit! That who that 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 can't fly on social media. You have to be perfect. You have to be shiny and new. You have to be, you know, fancy, and you have to, um, you know, teach proper things or whatever. You're not <laughs> instead of saying the word dysfunctional, I say shitty. You know, like that's a, and it, and finally I found out like I should just be myself. And the people that are out there that resonate with me, they will love me, not in spite of that, but because of it, because it makes me who I am. And then that fosters a connection. Um, but just because somebody has that authority does not mean that they're, you know, I, I, I think in that particular case, I think I pushed that professor's button. And, and it could have been like, authentic I was authentically annoying to him like fully and he probably believed what he was saying to me um but the, but that doesn't mean it was true for me and do you know did I look at it and make sure and you know when I started having sessions you know try not to be you know try to not be you know, I paid attention to it, but in the end, I found it was always, always, always better if I was just myself and then let, let what comes, comes. And um, so anyway, we want to take it with just because somebody has a high degree and has a lot of credentials doesn't mean they're right. Number two, um, I am going to check myself. Let me just take a look. Let me journal. Let me talk to my sponsor. Number three, check it out with other people. And number four, if you're shitty, I don't need to be taking shitty people's advice. Like, tell me I'm gaslighting after you stop gaslighting me. And telling me that I'm gaslighting is gaslighting. What is actually more helpful is always like, 
hey, I don't like the way that you said that, or I'm confused that you're telling me you did that thing when you actually didn't do it, because that's gaslighting, trying to tell you they did something that they didn't actually do, or vice versa. I don't have to say you're gaslighting me, that actually is not helpful. I can just say, hey, you know, you're saying that you did that thing and I know that you didn't, so I just need to talk about the dissonance with that, please. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. I love you, I miss you, I miss you. It's so good to be back. I've replenished my fairy dust. And onward and upward, personal growth. Hell yes, this is the dumbest ending I've ever done. Love you, hope that was helpful, bye.